What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Silence channel. My name is Shanks, and today we are going to defend the Helm's Deep against 10 Uruks with 3 heroes exclusively. We have Legoras, Haldir, and also Faramir to show his quality. And so it begins, boys, and so it begins. Let them come. Okay, the plan is to deny them from getting to the Deeping Wall, which is gonna be way easier <laughs> to be set than done. The first wave doesn't include any ladders, but trust me on that one, it's gonna be, of course, way harder. So the plan is to survive for 10 minutes until dawn, okay? Oh, <laughs> remember, boys, this is no rubble of mindless orcs. These are Urukai. They have no heavy armor, but they are still thick. Okay. And, you know, the heroes, they have, like, special abilities... Uh, spe uh, specifically designed for this custom map and um, we will also include this custom map in the update of the next version of the patch 2.22 so you can play it with up to two meets so you can play and you have two more friends who can also join you if you have no friends you can find friends in our discord and also you can also play it single you don't have to play it with your friends and we have pillage but the pillage is only applying if we are using the abilities and we have a rock throw basically like a AOE damage ability, which chunks multiple units, and we need money as soon as possible. Ooh, okay, but the ladders are coming. And we cannot use power points, we cannot collect any power points. Take this. Okay, that was a nice shot. Very well done, Legolas. That still only counts as one, though, as Kimmy would like to see. Uh, we need to disengage, man. <laughs> it's like there are too many of them. Do it. Ooh, that's a nice shot one more time. Beautiful. Okay. Amazing. And when you build, you can you have like two spots, right? You can build an archer range or a stable, and you cannot recruit any units. You have no money. But what will happen when you... Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting chunked, chunked, chunked. What will happen is it will automatically spawn some units, like two rangers from the archer range and two knights from the stable. Oh, be careful, <laughs> Legolas. Don't die. When you die, when you lose your hero, you lose the mission. When you are eliminated. Your allies can still keep playing, but it's going to be, of course, quite difficult. I mean, it's already hard for three people, but imagine it for two people. Oh, that's a nice shot from Faramir. He's been finally showing his quality in this game. And by the way, guys, happy new year to everybody. I hope you have a fantastic, I hope you had a fantastic start into your new year. And hopefully 2023 is going to bring you lots of success, health, enjoyment, entertainment. And I still hope that you will be watching my channel even in 2023. Because I will keep making BFME content, trust me on that one. <laughs> Alright, so we are level 4. Uh, you actually level up quite slowly in this mission. Which kind of makes sense because, you know, the more... Oh my goodness, look at the pike, man. Ooh, the problem is we cannot hold the deeping wall. And there is a mine. <laughs> I see a mine. We cannot stop the mine, though. Trample them, knights. Trample, trample, trample. Amazing. Okay. Seven more minutes, boys. Can we do this? They, have, they are bringing everything. Isengard is totally and completely unleashed, by the way. Holy moly. Oof. <laughs> Dude. I mean, okay. Oh, my, oh, one of my teammates has been defeated. Mirsi has been defeated. Now, it's a 2v1 two two situation. Two heroes versus 10,000 Uruks. I think it was Hydeer, right? I mean, it's accurate. I mean, Hydeer died in the films too, so I, I am down. Now, you might say, but Shanks, there was no Farami in Helm's Deep. You know what? I don't care, man. We need to give Farami somehow the chance to show his quality. Because he hasn't been able to do that until now. In 2020, 2023, it's gonna be his time to hit like a truck. And to shine bright like a diamond. Okay, we can build the trebuchet, also on top of the wall, but we need a bit more money. At level 6. I mean, this is so crazy exhausting, man. <laughs> Holy moly, there are so many. I don't know which one I should be killing first. I'm actually surprised that the game isn't lagging, though. Because there are so many units which normally would cause lags in an in a old game like BFME is. 
and by the way guys uh, we are now officially in 2023 right next year 2024 don't lose hydra man my <laughs> my parami is very low next year in 2024 bfme one is gonna be exactly 20 years old so we need to make like a like we need to plan something for this okay we need to make like a big big event in the next year and we have like lots of time to plan it so if you have any ideas what we can be doing for the 20 years anniversary from battle for middle of one you can let me know in the comment section down below i'm open for suggestions we can make a big tournament um, i can try to make like a LAN party meeting with online people like a bfme meeting you know with the casual players online players so we can get to see each other face to face would be quite nice you know four minutes and 50 seconds and also as we have released the evil campaign rework for the patch 2.22 we are now starting to make our own custom maps in the next update there is going to be an evil minas tirith custom map in which you will have to siege minas tirith with the forces of mordor and it will pretty much look like in the films so basically the minas tirith will have seven rings uh, with huge defense animations like crazy it's going to be mind-blowing stay tuned boys we are still working on it to make it quite difficult and challenging but still doable so it needs some time but holy moly guys i mean they are like it's like a buffet you know all you can eat uruks all you can eat pikemen hold until down four more minutes dude our trebuchet actually was a good investment i mean it's hitting like a truck like a special ability like a area damage eoe damage like here the single target is not very important because there are multiple targets and that's why i believe uh, heroes like you know gimli would be amazing for example here because you have leap attack your slayer gives you splash damage uh, obviously gandalf could be amazing with the board of power in his visa plus you know Ooh, this actually hits like a truck when this green arrow animation looks amazing i think we will i will win them <laughs> the race you know because we had like a bet at the beginning who's gonna kill more units i think we're gonna win this legolas just like it's like a raid boss you know but it is not over until it's over you still need to hold three more minutes i'm still hoping that there are not gonna be any uh, see it war riders or some shenanigans like this you know imagine the last wave is gonna be with like 50 sarimans coming at you and obviously uh, to make it kind of doable our heroes have increased durability in this mission otherwise our heroes would be dead long time ago so as you can see it's like a scripted map in which the enemy units are moving faster than they normally would and our heroes are way tankier than they normally would be Ooh, the trebuchet shot dude i like that one the thing is we don't need money we can't use the money for anything anyway and also without power points it's pretty much a raw fighting with special abilities and we need to be careful if only one well remaining so hopefully we won't be losing it and the thing the thing is uh, each production building you can build again you can build on a stable or archer range it will summon automatically two units two battalions of knights or two battalions of rangers if you build the archer range but when you lose the building your units are going to be also gone Fire rock. I want to use it so badly. Come on, come on, come on. Can I use it? Dude, I, I wish there would be... Ooh, son. Beautiful shot. I wish there would be something like a Gimli, you know, and he would like, he would like ask, you know, what's happening up there, you know? And then Legolas would respond like, shall I describe it to you? Or would you like me to bring you a box? Boom. Uh, the Faramir shot is actually more impressive than mine, but I have the arrow volley. Roll is available. I'm gonna use it. Boom, boom, boom. This green animation looks amazing. Guys, even in 2023, I'm stuck to this game, man. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should be moving on. I don't know, man. But it's so fun, you know. It's such a shame that EA Games lost all the rights to this game. Which had still so much potential. Oh no, we lost the Archer Range one more time. And also, quick question to you guys in the comment section down below. How was your entrance into 2023? What did you do in the New Year's Eve? And the second question is, do you guys like those kind of maps? You know, there's like custom maps, like you have like a limited amount of time, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, hold the line, like a tower defense. 
kind of kind of thing in which you have like a timer and you just need to survive this we want to make all kind of custom maps including co-op missions so basically you can that you can play the evil campaign and good campaign with a friend of yours it's a long time project the same also goes to the BFME launcher, which is fully sporting BFME 1 right now, but it will also support BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King. Our plan is to make the BFME installation and download prog progress in, in the following weeks and months way easier. So people who are interested in playing the BFME games can do this without having to study science, you know what I mean? Okay, oh, level 10. Now we have more armor, the Prince of Midwood. Nearby allied heroes also gain increased armor. Too bad we have only one hero, <laughs> from Faramir, who is fighting on the opposite side of the map. Doing his own thing, you know? Oh boy. I don't know what happens. I mean, we never got to this point in which we had only 30 seconds. We lost this three times before this, you know? And we always lost before the five minute mark. So I don't know if we still need to kill all of these because it's gonna be quite time consuming. That's my first time getting to this point. It's not my custom map, but a friend of mine made it. Also, he's in the patch 2.2 team. He's a great dude who can waste knowledge about making those maps. And he will be eventually helping us to create much more maps, many more maps in the future. Do it, Leolas. And... Ooh, okay. Theoden King stands alone. Not alone, they're all here. Everybody is level 10. Guys, you know what time it is, don't you? You guys know what time it is, don't you guys? I'm coming for the Uruks. Uh oh, uh oh. You shall not pass, son. Sit down, Uruks. More like. I, I don't have any rhyming to Uruks. If I would have rhyming to Uruks, I would be a rap. Oh, don't lag on me now, game. No, no, no. We are finishing this. We are... No, no, no. I didn't come until this minute to just quit this game, okay? Oh, okay. Thank God. Okay, it's all good. All good. I mean, I think the Ur uh, the Prohirim are kind of invincible. Uh, basically, you are supposed to win the mission once, Arag uh, once Gandalf and Eoma come. We're about to finish this. Ooh, dude, Farami actually also hitting like a truck. Let's use the lightning sword and just go ham. Dude, the Rohirrim are such a cool unit. I like the trample mechanic in the BFME game. Like, you don't have this mechanic in Age of Empires, for example. You don't have this. And even if when you have Kev, they are like a bit more mobile, but they will still fight in melee. You know, they don't trample. This is a great mechanic EA Games implemented, which kind of makes so much sense to the Lord of the Rings universe. In GG well played boys, we are victorious, but before ending this video, I want to also see how many units we actually killed. It's, it's a short video, you know, but it's hopefully still enjoyable for you boys. We will come back with the multiplayer gaming in the following days. I'm still my, on a little bit of, of a break because of New Year's Eve, but I should be back in the second or third week of December. We killed almost 3k units boys. GG well played, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like to this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a track and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out boys.